Good day everyone and welcome back to my channel. Taylor Swift's known for adding secret clues about her life in her music videos. So it comes as no surprise that Taylor Swift fans went wild when the singer wore a bridal inspired dress to announce she was dropping another surprise album, her ninth, aptly titled Evermore at Midnight on Friday. While Taylor 30 has not referred to any such wedding directly, fans took to Twitter in their droves to speculate if she had secretly married actor Joe Alwyn, 29. The couple have been dating since the summer of 2016 and some fans even say they wouldn't be surprised if they had a secret daughter called Willow. Given that that's one of the track listings, they wrote, Honestly, at this point, I wouldn't even be surprised if Taylor Swift announced her marriage and tells us she had a baby girl named Willow in the Willow. This screams wedding dress to me. Hashtag Evermore album at Taylor Swift 13 at Taylor Nation 13. Last one before the album comes out because I could do this all day. People, I think she got married. This is deaf a wedding dress and the album is called Hashtag Evermore album. Why does this look so much like a wedding dress? Thank goodness my fiancé is a paramedic, because if we get another surprise, I'm going to need one. Taylor had taken to Twitter to share her music news with her fans, saying she just kept writing, following the release of her first surprise album, Folklore, in July, and couldn't wait to share the new music and video for her first single, Willow. Sharing a photo taken from the album artwork, she wrote in a candid statement, I'm elated to tell you that my ninth studio album, The Folklore Sister Record, will be out tonight at midnight Eastern. It's called Evermore. To put it plainly, we just couldn't stop writing songs. To try and put it more poetically, it feels like we were standing on the edge of the Folklorean woods and had a choice to turn and go back or to travel further into the forest of this music. We chose to wander deeper in. I've never done this before. In the past, I've always treated albums as one-off eras and moved into planning the next one after an album was released. There was something different with folklore. Detailing how much she loved folklore, she went on, In making it, I felt less like I was departing and more like I was returning. I love the escapism I found in these imaginary, not imaginary tales. I love the ways you welcome the dreamscapes and tragedies and epic tales of love lost and found into your lives. So I just kept writing them. And I love creating these songs with Aaron Desner, Jack Antonoff, WB and Justin Vernon. We've also welcomed some new and long-time friends to our musical kitchen table this time around. Referring to her birthday on December the 13th, she went on, Ever since I was 13, I've been excited about turning 31 because it's my lucky number backwards, which is why I wanted to surprise you with this now. You've all been so caring, supportive and thoughtful on my birthdays. And so this time I thought I would give you something. I also know this holiday season will be a lonely one for most of us. And if there are any of you out there who turn to music to cope with missing loved ones the way I do, this is for you.